The City Heroes Homecoming private server stated that there is an update coming soon when they talked about the licensing agreement with NCSoft. I'm Controlled Chaos and this video I have the details for you. I'm just going to be going over the big stuff because this was a huge patch. We're not talking big patch, we're talking big huge patch. I mean just check out everything that's going on here. I'm just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and it is a lot to go through. It's insane stuff. They didn't just throw in a few things. They threw in every single thing you can possibly think about and then the kitchen sink too. It's crazy big how this is. So like I said, I'm just going over the main functions of what this patch does. But if you want to read the full notes of what this issue is going to be, click in the description below. So the first thing I'm going to go over is the new features in this issue that they're adding, which is issue 27, page 7, and they are calling this second chances. So the marquee features that they have, the main features that they're saying in here is piecemeal's personal story, issue 27, is final. It will finish up in this update. They've also added in a co-op, Stir Isles, uh, new villain and rogue story arcs. They have a Rick T Warzone revamp, Vanguard base expansion. So not only did they revamp the zone, they expanded the Vanguard base. They have advanced modes for Lady Grey's task force. They have role diversity bonuses, which I'll talk more about. They also have new powers for the dominator which is arsenal control and arsenal assault they have a new epic power pool and epic power balancings the arachnos soldier and the arachnos widow got an update and power customization sheathing and holstering of weapons are now available on all weapon power sets and this looks really good they have a new high level council and circle of thorns revamp, giant monster balancing patches, various adjustments and improvements and bug fixes, such as new costume parts, new vanity pet invention recipes, and law fixes, and so much more. But let's dive deeper into this. The main thing we want to dive into when we're talking about this whole entire Ricky invasion thing, when you're doing that, a second chance at a first impression personal story, it is a contact by a pain phone in the Ricky zone. What you want to do to be able to get there is you want to do forward slash thumbtack, then you want to put in 3230.6 space. Point one space negative five one three point nine. This is for any alignment for level fifties. Is what this is meant for. Then there's more. There's the co-op uh, Sturgis Isles new arc story types. There's brutal secrets, which the contact is uh, Orbitus uh, Stratus. I believe is how it's pronounced. It's in Sturgis Isles. You want to do a forward slash thumbtack negative 2932 negative 25.5 negative 1028.0. That will give you his location. This is for villains and rogues between levels 20 and 24. Then there is just prototypical, which is missions given by a contact named Dr. Francisco. And it's in Sturgis Isle. The you want to do the, the forward slash thumbtack space one zero four point five negative zero point zero and then space negative one two zero nine point six. And that will give you the location. 
Once again, it is for villains and rogues between level 20 and 24. Then there's another one still called Negotiations of the Living Dead. This is by N Night Widow Regana, and it's Sturgis Isle. You want to do forward slash thumbtack space nay of 507.2 space 8.0 space nay of 1079.6 for the location. It's also a villain rogue mission for levels 20 to 24. Then there is the most dangerous prey, which is done by Orpheus and in Sturgis Isle. The forward slash thumbtack for this one is native 2376.0 space 0 0.8 space native 1957.3. And this is for villains and rogues between the levels of 25 and 29. Then we have the last witch of Asturga, which is Mage Killer Titania. And it's in Sturgis Isle, forward slash thumbtack space or negative 2640.7 space 66.7 space negative 3346.5. This is also for villains and rogues for the levels of 25 to 29. And that's really good stuff there. Now, when they're talking about the Ritchie Warzone revamp, the Vanguard base update, they have moved a lot of things around. They took out the functionality of the architect uh, entertainment and moved it. The building has been moved into the vanguard base and replaced with a vanguard vehicle depot so if you go to the normal area where there's the building for the architect entertainment it's not going to be there you're just going to see a vehicle depot you're now going to have to go into the base to get to that so that's a change there in the world which i really really like that they're doing things like this because it's giving them a chance to play around with how to adjust the world and change the world so it's making their server a bit different from all the others plus they're learning on how to manipulate zones which by doing so they're learning how to possibly add zones the ricky pylons can be found throughout the zone uh now con as level 54 rather than ignore level mod which is really really good the vanguard quartermaster and combat nurse have been added near the training dummies on the surface the merit vendor npc has been replaced by a merit vendor kiosk so if you're trying to look for a person don't look for a person look for the kiosk Poor mission doors on the zones have been changed to use the new Portal Corp uh, section of the Vanguard base. So you have to go to a new section to activate the portal. The Vanguard shooting range target area is once again able to and can be attacked by players. So you can practice out your abilities and see how they look and have a little bit of fun. The next thing I want to talk about is advanced mode for Lady Grey Task Force. I have the splash screen up here showing you the different modes. You have Heroic, you have uh, Tentalus, which is a one star, you have Rugged, which is two stars, you have Unyielding, which is three stars, and you have Invincible, which is four stars. And it talks about what's recommended for this and what the rewards will be. So this is really good there. And I really like that they've done that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the role diversity bonus. For when you're doing this type of stuff, they have redone it. If you do a role in this bonus of all task force and strike forces. So now when you're doing a task force and a strike force, you're going to want to try to diversify the roles. You want to try to have one of each of these. A tank, which is either a tanker, a brute, a peacekeeper, or a war shade. Melee damage, which is either scrapper, stalker, peace bringer, or arachnus, arachnus widow. Then there's range damage, which is blaster, sentinel, corruptor, peace bringer, war shade, arachnus soldier, arachnus widow, 
Control, which is Controller, Dominator, Warshade, or Arachnos Widow. Support, which is Defender, Mastermind, or Arachnos Soldier. You have one of each of those in the group, you're going to be doing really good and you're going to get a bonus. This makes it great. This makes it so that it sort of evens things out and then somewhat causes a challenge instead of just min-maxing with uh, certain groups of the types. And things like that. There are the new power sets, which is Arsenal Control and the Arsenal Assault for the Dominator. And these are really, really good. You get a lot of holds. You get a Sleep, which is a Tranquilizer. You get a Sleep Grenade, which is a target AoE effect. You get a Cryo Freeze Ray, which is a hold effect. You get Liquid Nitrogen, which is puts a target dot in the area and then also makes it so that they can't fly and they keep slipping and falling which is nice you get a cloaking device which works great you get a smoke canister which is a negative to hit and confusion so the enemy will start attacking each other and then you get a flashbang which is a negative to hit you get a tear gas, which is a uh, area of effect hold, and then you also get a gun drone. Now, if we go and we talk about the arsenal assault, you get burst, you get buttstock, which is hitting them with the buttstock of the rifle, you get a buckshot, you get a heavy blow, you get power up, you get trip mine, targeting drone, sniper rifle, and ignite are the abilities that are put in there for the dominator then there are some change ups to the epic power pools and these changes are is there is a new dark mastery epic power pool for blasters there's a new dark mastery epic power pool for controllers and dominators and masterminds and tankers and brutes Defenders and Corruptors, Scrappers and Stalkers, Boots and Tanks, you know, they get Psychic, Ice, have all been updated, which in, does a lot, but you want to check the names. They've also changed the names, set names of Global uh, Power Pool, such as Flame Mastery is renamed Fire Mastery, Heat Mastery is renamed Fire Mastery, things like that that have been done. They've done some improvements to Leviathan Mastery, uh, Epic Hold Attacks, Epic Immobilization Attacks. Now, the Arachnos Soldier and Arachnos Widows have had some updates and power customizations. And some of the, the power customizations that they've done here is if we look at the alternate animations, they have alternate animations for Burst, Wide Area, Web Grenade, Heavy Burst, Venom Grenade, and Frag Grenade now have the ability to use the Crab alternate animations. Animation changes have been made. All Ace Attacks, or all Mace Attacks, not Ace Attacks. <laughs> God damn, there, hello. Um, attacks cast times have been reduced by 1.67%. Pummel cast time reduced by 1.17%. Chameleon or uh, channel gun, sorry, uh, uh, cast time reduced to one second, long fang cast time reduced by 1.33 seconds, psychic scream cast time reduced by two seconds, scrambled thoughts cast time reduced by two seconds, mind link cast time has been reduced by 2.97 seconds, frenzy's cast time has been reduced by 2.23 seconds, Heavy Bursts cast time has been reduced by 2.5 seconds. And PvP adjustments have also reflected these cast time changes. So don't be surprised. There's also a bunch of other changes that they have made for the uh, Arachnos that are going on for the player classes. And then there's also a bunch of updates dealing with Storm Blast, Cold domination, storm summoning, devices, remote bomb, traps, temporal bomb has been changed. Traps mastermind dominator 
has had some changes done to them and then a bunch of miscellaneous changes done to this so you want to be aware that changes have happened to those and that they've made some changes in those powers the main things that they've changed in storm blast is chain lightning has had some changes in the damage output and jumps and things like that uh, category 5 has had some changes storm calling has had some changes proc chances have had some changes cold domination uh, sleets had some changes Frostworks had some changes heat loss has had some changes storm summoning freezing rain has had some changes they've also done a bunch of power bug fixes and fixing a lot of powers across the board pretty much every single archetype got changed there have been some revamp to some factions the high level council have had a revamp and they've removed things around and overhauled them so you want to keep an eye out for that the high level circle of thorns have also been revamped and there's a lot to that then the giant mon monsters have had a balanced pass so they've been revamped and focused also then there is also new vanity pets which is really nice you can take the giant monster mini pets and unstable ether following a monster found in the city now have a hundred percent chance of dropping a, a invention recipe for a miniature version of themselves this is a chance is ruled uh, inevitably per character who receives credit and is tied to the same drop table as the reward merit and that's really good and i'm going to show you a screen here of what we're talking about with these pets then the pay to win vendor that you have also has added in six new non-combat variant pets into the pay to win shop so you know a place where you go to get like beast run and ninja run and stuff like that they now have these pets they have a arachnos drone a camera drone a police drone a protection bot orb a rick t drone and a uh, mystic lantern which is really great there have been some new costume parts and this is a long list i'm going to go through with you on this so they added in the golden brickster uh presets to the customization menu set offering so if you're not wanting to create a costume but you want to look sort of like a certain way golden brick has been added in there they've added in new patterns the following that they've added in are for the chest, gloves, hips, and boots. They've added in bars. They've added in Technopath. They've added in Paragon Protectors. And that's really cool. And they look really, really great. They've added in a new full helm. And so if you go ahead, full helm, you can do a Paragon Protector. If you go to head and hats, you can get a Plague Doctor 1. A Plague Doctor 2. If you go to Head Detail 1, you can get a, just the Plague Doctor front face piece, and that looks really nice. If you go to Half Helms and Helms, you can get a modern barrette, which looks like a military barrette, which is nice. You get the ACH uh, Helmet Tangible 1. It's basically these are military helmets now that we're talking about. And they look really nice and they have different patterns on them for the ACH helmets. They've also added in for details for the Brett. You can do a Brett flash, which is a badge. And then they have for the second one, Mon Brett detail, which is basically the rank your character is. And they look really, really good. Then we have a bunch of stuff added on to the following. Floating Heads Thinking Tank are the ones we're going to be talking about now. They have added in a basic, a glow, and an evil version for each of those. They've also added in for all the, the skull looking stuff, like, you know, the, the ornate skulls for the shoulders, the skulls for the belts. 
all have the abilities to now have a glow or a metallic glow to them which is really cool and this also includes the belts so shoulders and belts have that then the gloves they've added in advanced clockwork blaster into the list for gloves and then if you go into the back you can get clockwork backpack a rusted clockwork backpack or a clockwork winder another thing that they've done is with the clockwork gloves that they have the advanced gloves and the regular clockwork gloves they've added in a rusted clockwork texture to those which looks really nice there are a bunch of cape modifications that they've added in and done and they're all snake style patterns they have a snake men pattern they have a snake skin patterns that have been added in for a lot of capes they've added in for the head details they've added in a sweetheart a sweetheart high a sweetheart low a sweetheart small uh both high and low and regular and then a plague doctor for detail too and then that's for males for females they've added in an upper uh, body roman uh symbols one and two and the plague doctor for the huge the sweetheart stuff that they had for the males has all been added in and then they've also done some bug fixes there on top of that custom weapons all weapons that currently have uh the sheathing and, and hold string this includes bows beam rifles pulse rifles dual pistols and then there's also some custom weapons arachnos mace now has a uh, ricky blade rifle to it the arachnos assault mutations pulse rifles has a devastator a shred cannon and a shock rifle broadswords have a red cape dagger thorns blade 2 circle of thorns sword so those are three new things beam rifles have a lot added in they have a legacy assault rifle assault rifle legacy merc assault weapon merc assault weapon silence merc assault weapon mark two merc assault weapon military assault rifle sniper rifle Mattel sniper rifle a tommy gun council assault rifle council submachine gun nemesis rifle nemesis rifle two vanguard rifle with uh, bayonet elite vanguard guard rifle with bayonet cray laser rifle cray pulse blaster rick t blaster rick t cannon dual pistols have added in patreon's uh resistance blaster rick t blaster cry pistols circle of thorns crossbows hand crossbows that's really cool i've been wanting to make characters that use handheld crossbows for a long time we can now do that in the game there's even more customizations the two accessible powers that have weapons modes that can now have customizations powers to them uh the cry cbx9 pistol has original taintable semi-automatic pistol revolver metallic sidearm arachnos pistol and ricky blaster the stolen immobilizer array has original tangible a shotgun a consistor gun a melted launcher oristance uh rifle a rick t uh, entangler claws and spines now have legacy spines you go to legacy spines barbed wire and or uh barbed swipe and claws swipe final animations adds an alternate animations for spines ripper claws and evacerate teleport also has several new customizations to how it goes off they have a murder of crows and if you don't know what murder of crows is it's just a bunch of crows flying out a ricky effect smoke bomb which looks really good and tornado so this is all really good stuff they also have new badges they have the acolyte badge which is the stairway complete all villain alignment story arcs on Stir Island. So that's a great bad. 
the accomplishment, which is don't look at the explosion, successfully complete in sequence advanced mode of Lady Grey's task force, defeat Zookeeper Omega, defeat the new boss encounter in the advanced mode of Lady Grey's task force, and then history, which is basically you have to celebrate 200 years of Paragon City's histories and badges spanning 20 unique plaques scattered around various zones. So you have those to look for. There are a bunch, a bunch of new base items. More Task Force stuff has been updated and adjusted for rewards so you want to read over all of that it's a lot there and then enemy factions so the arachnos have increased the level of arachnos where missions for the uh, gender priority update this has been adjusted and now uh bane spiders crab spiders night widows and uh arets uh, should have the opposite gender costume at level uh, at one eighth the chance, fix the Cerro's lighting uh, lightning attack missing its animation, and new costumes added for the Red Widow's appearance post reveal, which is great. The Axis Americas have been restored to their original costumes. So all uh, enemies in this faction will be visibly distinguishable from the can council empire mobs, which is great. Circle of Thorns high level mobs have been revamped. We talked about that. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that they fixed in multiple zones. So keep an eye out on things such as in the abyss, the guard drones added to the nearby hospital and zone entrance. Ka uh, Kappa Deceb uh, Deabla fixed geometry gaps that allowed for getting under the map. That's a great fix. I hate it when you fall through the map or can get under the map and then get stuck and can't find that spot again. Such a pain. Dark Astoria fixed geometry gaps that allowed them to fall under the map. Added in a bunch of stuff for the architect entertainment. They added in new custom Emmy options or bio armor, electric affinity, martial arts, natural affinity, ninja training, plant manipulation, psychic melee, radiation armor, radiation melee, radioactive assault, savage melee, savage assault, psychic assault, psychic manipulation, tactical arrows, temporal manipulation, traps, and water blasts have all been added in. Uh, new NPC options, Freedom Phalanx, uh, Pineapple Yin added to available AE Critter offerings. And then there's a bunch of miscellaneous. They did fix some really good things. They fixed a client crash in ultra mode when the costume window was open on the character with all 10 costume slots unlocked while standing close enough to a building with windows to reflect while a player or NPC with a reflective costume part was close enough to a water surface was rendering water reflections. This is really, really good because there's so much reflecting going on there. It was crashing the system. They fixed that. They did a gamma correction which is good. They fixed some issues with some doors. They fixed some uh, geometry issues and many other things. So what I suggest is there are some, several areas of this that they are wanting feedback on. This is all up on their beta test server. So I suggest go check it out on the beta test server. I know I have. I've had great time with it recording stuff for this video. But go test out and if you find a problem, I recommend you watch this video right here which will tell you how to write a professional game bug report. Have a great day.